Hey guys, Troy's Funko Pops here. How are you going? Just dropping a quick little video to say good day to everyone. Try and get a few more subscribers. We're up to 69. As soon as we hit 100, we're going to start doing some giveaways. So click on the notifications bell if you want to be notified when we're going live. Now, it'll probably be on a Friday or Saturday afternoon, night, evening, day, sometime around then. But as soon as we hit that 100 mark, we're going to do some giveaways. Uh, just wanted to grab your attention today. A couple of things that came in the mail the new mech strike spider-man glow in the dark chase um, i think it looks pretty cool now you guys might be aware of some muck-ups that funko's had in the past with sodas um, now with muck-ups i'm talking about uh, the ninja turtle set to start with the first round where some of the body parts glowed some of them didn't um, it was a bit extreme that's like these guys from the original first sets now we had some that the tops glowed with the chase the rest of the bodies didn't or one leg one arm glowed and the belly glowed but the head didn't little bits and pieces i found the exact same thing with this mech strike marvel spider-man now what i mean by that is i'll, I'll get him to hold still and i'll point out to you now, he's got two wings, one on each side of his shoulders. Now, the one on this side doesn't glow. The other one glows. The two swords glow down at the bottom. Heap of other stuff glows. But this one wing on this side does not glow. There is no green around the edge or anything like that. So it's just a mistaken part that I'm guessing they've taken from one of the commons by accident and put it on it. Uh, probably because they work during the day. And you can't exactly glow everything during the day and make sure that that part's going to fit. Anyway, uh, another one that came in from the USA today. This is one that I ordered. The Glow Chase Felix. Um, the Aquasox. So this is the, the, the baseball only available at the game, I believe. You could only get it by redemption at the game. Um, we happened to pick one of these up on eBay. Uh, the seller was happy enough to send it to Australia, which is you know, a bloody long way away. Um, arrived perfectly safe, well boxed, well packaged. Um, g'day to those guys. Thank you very much. Um, I'm just wrapped with this. Another Glow Chase for the collection. Another Glow Pop that is not available in Australia. There is none here. Um, I've looked, haven't found any at all. So a big thank you to them. Uh, thank you, you to you guys supporting me. Um, the approximate value on this guy in Australian dollars, I'm going to say about 240 is what it costs. The cheapest one on eBay is it at the moment. I picked up this up for an absolute bargain of $108 Australian. Shipped, GST charges, everything included. Um, conversion rates, the whole works. So. That was absolutely awesome. I'm so glad to have this. And for anyone else to grab one, by the look of the prices on eBay, it's going to cost at least double that what I paid to get one. These are going up in price a bit. The Funko app puts them at $69 Australian. That's just not right because it says the common version is actually $79. Um, I don't understand that. Uh, it doesn't work for me. It might work for you guys, but I'm guessing everybody in America is probably trying to get about 150 US for these guys. Plus, um, I've seen them up to $500, which is a little bit outrageous. But um, yeah, again, thanks to that person. I'm not going to name you on here. Um, but yeah, there's a couple of look at the latest Glow Chase Pops that we've been able to add to the collection today. So our collection is sitting at glow-in-the-dark pops. Every single one's a glow-in-the-dark pop. Um, some stickered, some not stickered, some exclusives, some non-exclusives, a whole series of chases and everything. We're sitting at just over 690 different ones. So we're going to keep them going. When we hit 1,000, 1,000 glow-in-the-dark Funko items, the Guinness Book of Records has said to me that they will accept me um, into the Guinness Book of Records as having the most glow-in-the-dark 
Funko items uh, available. They will make a new category. We've just got to get there. We've been trying for a few years. Um, unfortunately, with 650, they rejected it. They wanted to see at least 1,000. So help us out, guys. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn the notifications on. You can help us get there. Um, hopefully we can earn a couple of dollars one day off these videos as well as share them with you guys and build the collection and just do something like get my name in the record book once. That'll be fun. Even if I only hold it for a day and then somebody beats me, I'd be happy. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.